How do I intentionally make my parents yell at me? I need to train myself not to cry. Okay, so here's the deal. There's a couple things I want to address here. First of all, you don't intentionally make your parents anything. You can't make your parents yell at you. You can't make your parents happy. You can't make your parents angry. You can't, they're responsible for them just like you are responsible for you. They choose to respond when you have certain actions, they are in the habit and addicted to acting out in a certain manner to you because that's all they've ever known and they're not even really aware of any other way to do it. And so, for example, if, you, if your parents say, hey, please take out the trash, and you're like, not now, or I don't feel like it, or I don't want to, that might automatically trigger them to go Rah! and start yelling at you. Now, did you make them yell? No. However, from past experience, you know that anything other than an okay mom or okay dad or yes sir, yes ma'am or okay, I'll do it now is going to elicit that kind of response because people respond in predictable ways. And every time you've said no or anything other than okay mom or yes, I'll do it now, elicits them yelling at you because that's their habit. That's their addiction. They're not conscious that there's a different way of doing that. So the second part of your question is, I need to train myself not to cry. Um, let me hit the pause button here because that was me when I was a kid. I was actually reprimanded as a child for crying, for sulking, for weeping, for any type of negative emotion that wasn't joyous, happy, and, and happy and laughing. And so I, I happen to be a very, very sensitive kid. It really, it really wouldn't take anything, wouldn't even take words to make me cry. If you looked at me crossways, or if you just looked at me with disapproval or dislike or anything, that was enough to make me cry because I was so sensitive. So I learned, you know, that I had to bottle those emotions, especially because my mother didn't think that it was, a, um, that it was really appropriate for me to be crying for anything minor or insignificant like that, like hurt feelings. You know, a good reason to cry was for physical pain, but not for anything along those lines. And so I had to unlearn that. And it wasn't until I was really in my late thirties that I started realizing this is really unhealthy. And then it wasn't until um, not too many years ago in my forties, I realized this has consequences to it and I need to start giving myself permission to cry. And so for me, it wasn't until like 2012 or 2013 where I was able to get to the point where I could, even when I gave myself permission to cry in private, um, I had trouble doing that because I was so good at bottling up, repressing, depressing, suppressing my emotions that I would not allow myself to fully feel anything negative. And so that's not a healthy way to live. So rather than have you train yourself not to cry, which is not to feel, I would discourage you from that. And I would say, cry, go ahead and cry. Whether it's in front of them or in private, or excuse yourself to cry, but go ahead and cry. Feel. Your feelings are your guidance positioning system. It's telling you important information that you need to know. It tells you what to move towards and what to move away from. There's a clue there. When you have something that's making you cry, that's something that you want to move away from, and then you need to sit back and reflect at what it is that's making you feel this sadness, feel this pain. And you know, you're moving away obviously because of that pain. And what do you need to do differently to turn that around next time? I'm not saying that you're gonna condition yourself to have joy when you should be feeling pain. That's not what I'm saying at all. But you need to pay attention to that. And that's a whole other topic that we can talk about. But right now I just wanted to answer your question about intentionally making your parents yell at you, which is not really true. 
and how to, you know, if you need to train yourself to not cry. So I hope this helps. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell to get notified of new videos. And thank you for joining me today here at Love and Money Secrets TV. Peace and love always.